All right, so here's a quick tip for customizing the page background, the HTML background of your storyline project with an image. Now, pretty simple to do. However, the downside is, is that you'll actually have to add that each time you republish your file just because it's going to get overwritten. So you're actually going to modify the HTML after the course, uh, the project is published. So here's what it is. You have your story project, and that can be anywhere. And then you have a published directory. Well, find whatever image you want to use. In this case, I'm using this plaid background image, and I'm just going to drag it into my published folder. If I open up the published folder, I can see that it's here in the root of the contents. I just need to edit the story.html file, so you can do something like Notepad or Dreamweaver, or whatever you're, you're comfortable in, and you're just going to add a single line of code that tells a storyline or this HTML page to look for that graphic. So here it is in Dreamweaver, and I just like the highlighting here. So I need to scroll down. I'm going to come all the way down here and look for this heading right there. I want to make sure that this is included in the head. I'm going to put it at the end of everything else. So it's around line 142, somewhere around there. But you just want to put it right before this closing head bracket, right? So somewhere up here. And the script that or the code that you want to actually use here is just body, background, and then the URL or the, the path to your file. Because I'm using the image in the actual file, I copied it over. If I wanted to have this say on an absolute site, something like HTTP and have this out on an external server, I could do that. But because I'm copying it into the same folder, right? Right here is along with the uh, story.html. I'm not going to put any of that. I'm just going to leave it just like that. The name of the file, plaid background PNG. Save it. And that's all you need to do. Just remember that each time you publish your uh, storyline project, you'll have to add that line of code and the image into your published folder.